Good morning, my friends. It's so exciting to be with you here on this happy, happy day. We have a wonderful celebration. Let's go ahead and begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And also with you. My friends, today we are celebrating Easter. Um, so if you can see, do you see these banners behind me? The pink one and the yellow one. Do you know what word's on there? It says, Alleluia. That's our happy word because we have a happy day today with our Easter celebration. So we're going to sing our song of the month, which shares the Easter story and also Allelu, Allelu. So if you are sitting down, why don't you go ahead and stand up and sing along with us. That was wonderful, my friends. Thank you so much for singing along with me. Well, like I said, today we are going to talk about Easter. So I wanted to know what some of your favorite things were about Easter. So I contacted your teachers and asked them to ask you. So I wanted to share some of the responses. I heard, I think you all can agree, this is a great part of Easter, eating candy. You guys like to eat some candy? Yeah, all sorts of fun candy out there. Oliver said, I can find chocolate from Miss Berlinski's class, and he is the man after my heart. Chocolate is the best kind of Easter candy there is. And then Aaron said, there are lots of things, which I agree. I like Easter because I can look for Easter eggs, and it has candy and strings and things. Also, you get to have hot dogs. Who doesn't love a good hot dog? Well, I remember my friends loving Easter egg hunts, right? It was just so fun finding the Easter eggs. My brothers and I, what we would do is we would hunt them and then hide them and hunt them and hide them and hunt them and hide them and and it would last all day long. But it's really fun to kind of see maybe what's inside. And in here, you can't really see it, but I have some little M&Ms, and I like chocolate way more than I like jelly beans. So I have some yummy M&Ms in here. But you guys are so smart. Some other responses, a lot of people said this. You guys know that Easter is more about eggs. It's more than just delicious candy. It's more about those fun things, even hot dogs, right? Easter is so special. I'll read... What we, because we get to celebrate Jesus is alive and he died for you and for me. What beautiful words. You guys totally get it. Well, my friends, Jesus is what Easter's all about, right? And so if we remember back, remember on um, Ash Wednesday, we got this gray box and it kind of reminded us how sad it was. And we talked about how we were in Lent leading up to Easter. And Lent is when we kind of think about our sad sins that Jesus is going to have to die for, right? We understood 
And we talked about that sin separates us from God, right? But Jesus had a plan, and he was going to do whatever it took so that we could be with him forever. And so what did Jesus do? He went and he died on a cross. And they took Jesus' body and they put it in the tomb, right? They put him inside. And everyone was so sad because their friend Jesus was gone and they thought he was going to save them. But three days later, you know what happened? They went to the tomb and it was empty, right? I'll shake it for you so you can hear. There's nothing inside. The tomb was empty and that was so exciting because Jesus was alive. Death couldn't hold him back. He conquered sin. He conquered death. He saved us from everything so that we can be together. And he lives for you and he lives for me and it's just so happy and I'm so excited we get to celebrate together. We even get to bring back our happy word, Alleluia. So will you guys go ahead and say it with me? One, two, three, Alleluia. Awesome. What a happy day. I have here in this box, you're going to get these back eventually, I'm not sure when, um, your alleluias that you colored. So you will get to see that again. We get to say our happy word as much as we want and celebrate all that Jesus did for us by dying on the cross. All right, now we're going to say our prayer of the month. If you remember, we've been doing the Lord's Prayer together. So I'm going to invite Um, some leaders up here to pray with me. If you guys will take your hands and fold them together just like so, and we'll repeat it, all right? So I'll say a line, and then you repeat it and pray it up to God. Our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those, as we forgive those who trespass against us, who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever and ever, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right, my friends. Usually in our chapel time, we collect offering. And since we're not together, I wanted to challenge you guys. Offering can be giving up of our money. So, Another thing we could do is give up our time or our talents. And so we have a lot of people, um, as you know, that are maybe stuck at home and at our nursing homes. They aren't allowed visitors, and I think they would just love a wonderful Easter message from you. So if you have some time and you want to offer up your talents and your time, you can color them a beautiful Easter picture, and you can have it either mailed or take it to the Haven Admin Office, and they will deliver it to the residents. They can put it up in their windows so they can have that wonderful Easter celebration message. If you want to participate, that's a great way to offer up your time and your talents. All right, my friends, let's do our verse of the month, all right? So do you remember? It's kind of the Easter message, and it's Christ died for our sins. And that's in the Bible in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3. My friends, this has been such a happy celebration. I hope you remember that Jesus died for you, Jesus rose for you, and Jesus lives for you. He loves you so much. Happy Easter and Alleluia. Let's go ahead and sing a closing song together. Praise him, praise him, all you little children.
concludes our chapel for today. Have a great Easter. Alleluia. Jesus is risen. And we'll see you next week for chapel.